when you let the mind settle down. This is the source of all the good things that the mind can do. We do a lot of things in the movements of the mind when we think and we plan. But the thinking and the planning have to come out of a quiet place. Otherwise the mind is multitasking and you know what happens when people do lots of tasks all at the same time? Nothing really gets done well. So you want to get the mind really clearly focused right here, get it doing this one thing really well. And that gives you a standard against which you can measure other things that you plan to do. Would it be an improvement on just sitting here? An improvement on just being still, accepting things as they are, because there are some things you do have to change. So you want to make what you've got right now as good as possible, and then you have a standard. And coming from a quiet place like this, you can see things a lot more clearly. Otherwise, it's like a camera that's being jerked around as you as you're taking the picture. You get these blurs, and you can figure out some things, but a lot of details you miss. And as I say, the devil's in the details. It's the same with your mind. The little details of how you think things, why you think things, you have to see them clearly. And you can't see them clearly if you're running around, tossing the mind around here and there. So focus on getting the mind as quiet as you can. And then when it t comes time to move, okay, you can move with awareness, you can move with knowledge. And you've got a good standard against which to measure things. That way you learn how to shape your life in a much better way. <laughs>